This is Draper and Maynard, also known as DM. This is where we have all our different art programs and our new robotics program with also our new makerspace. Let's take a look inside. Back here on the first floor, we have our brand new state-of-the-art makerspace. This is where students can come to work on their own projects or work in projects collaboratively. Here you might find some high-tech equipment like a plasma cutting table or a 3D printer. This is University Police where we have officers on duty 24-7. This is also where you can buy your parking passes and they're also a great resource for the community. So if you ever need a ride anywhere or help with your car, they'll help you out. This building is Spear. I call this the all important building. If you're looking for something important, it's definitely in this building. In this building, you'll find Registrar's Office, Financial Aid, Student Services, and the TRIO program. Behind me is the Silver Center for the Arts. This is where we have our music, dance, and theater programs. If you're part of one of these programs, you'll find yourself spending a lot of time in here. Let's take a look inside. We are now in the main part of the Silver Center. Right behind me is the Hanaway Theater, where the theater department will put on all their different productions throughout the year that you can even attend to with your student ID for free. Here we have a bunch of different classroom spaces, studio spaces, and rehearsal spaces for the students in the music, dance, and theater programs. Behind me is Rounds Hall. This actually used to be the first building on campus when we were just a teacher's college back in the day. Now it holds a variety of different programs, including elementary ed and youth development. A fun fact about Plymouth State is that this guy right here, Robert Frost, actually taught English here for a whole semester. And he also wrote a poem about us called The Good Hours. This is what your basic classroom and rounds will look like. Usually for class sizes, you'll be in classes from around 20 to 30 students. Here you'll find movable furniture so that you guys can have a collaborative workspace. A requirement for all students is to take an English composition class your first year, and you might have yours here. My first year, my composition professor only wore purple to my class. 